Hey everyone, it's Dan at SP Motorsport. On this week's product spotlight, we're gonna go over our 2011 to current 6.7 Power Stroke oil filter housings. These are not adapters, they are complete housing. So it is a complete replacement for the factory housing that bolts to the side of the upper oil pan. And one of the reasons we got into these housings and why we started down this road was not just for the added filtration and wanting to do the cat filters, but on the factory unit, there's a lot of issues with flow. So it'd be super easy to just come up with a generic adapter to throw on the end of this made out of aluminum or whatever. But the problem, well, there's a lot of problems with that, but one of the main issues with that, doing an adapter with the weight of these filters, it's just not good. You're, you're gonna run into thread galling issues. It's, it's bad news. But the main reason why we came out with these housings was the flow. They're very flow restrictive as far as the design. This is a cast piece. So they have to add a lot of area inside here, which isn't necessary in the way we do these. So in the billet piece, you can see the cavity is much larger for the oil flow. We utilize a factory style gasket, as you can see in the grooving around the outside here to seal it. This is obviously a billet, a billet unit. So obviously the flow is one of the major things. And you may ask like, how do you even figure that out? Or how, how was that a problem? So on our dragster, we were able to actually monitor pressure drop. So through this housing, we would have more pressure on the backside or the inlet cavity feeding into the filter than we did actually coming out on the outlet to the block. So we would find pressure drop issues feeding in and out of the factory housing. So rather than doing an adapter, we wanted to resolve the flow issues and everything else that we had found and we use a stainless steel center adapter to screw the filter on with. So you won't have any galling issues or anything and you can see you can see the major cavity. So once again, the cavity on the inside is larger as well on the filter side. Stainless steel for the filter adapter. And you can see the, the sheer size difference between that and the cat for the cat filters. Um, one of the major things with using utilizing the stainless steel is being able to not have to worry about it galling. So you have a nice, just like a factory thread. The other thing, as I stated, the gaskets that we did for these, it is a factory, not just style, but a factory dimension gasket. So being, if you had to remove this at any point or replace a gasket, it is available at a Ford dealer. Um, we do include our gasket, which is, in my opinion, a better rubber material. So it should deal with heat and everything else much better than the factory one. But it's the same dimension and it is easily replaceable with a Ford part. So we have 11 to 19 model and a 2020 plus model. They are slightly different. The other thing that we do on these adapters is we have a auxiliary port on the front side of them for it's an eighth and a quarter NPT bung essentially. So if you're running compounds or oil to another source, you can use it for that. You can use it for an added gauge. If you wanted to do uh, an oil pressure gauge or an oil temperature uh, sensor, you can put it right in one of these auxiliary bungs. They're included on both. And then we include stainless hardware and the also the sensors the factory sensors stay in the same spot relative to the the factory housing it keeps everything kind of simple and clean so on the filter side of things we have different options as you can see just for reference here we put a factory filter up on the table so you can kind of see the the sheer size difference obviously the micron ratings are better with the cat filter this, uh, the FL2051S is actually only 80% efficient at 20 micron. These are 100% efficient at 20 micron and uh, 4 micron, they're 20% efficient. 
So the reason we have two different styles for the, the, the cat filters on the table is if you're trying to get the most mileage you can out of your oil changes, if you're running expensive oil, if you want to make sure that your durations are longer, this is obviously going to have a better time, you know, time interval on your, your maintenance. This is also the same micron as the larger one, smaller in volume. And the nice thing about it is if you don't want the filter hanging down quite as far, the shorter option is really nice because it's not a whole lot longer than the factory unit. So it keeps everything nice and tucked out of the way. Um, these are also designed to work in conjunction with our oil pan. So it clears the oil heater element and all of the bungs, the auxiliary bungs and stuff on our lower oil pan. Another thing we want to touch on with the, the oil filters obviously being much longer than the factory one is when designing the adapter housing, we made sure that the angle and the height was as high as we could make it to keep the filter as tight to the engine as possible because obviously we don't want it hanging down any lower than we have to. So we did make that the best possible scenario. We kept the filter nice and high. And if we were to take a factory housing and just thread an adapter on the end, you really start getting stack up on your, on your height. So now you're taking a filter that's already extremely long and we're lowering it even more, which obviously we didn't want to do. So as I stated, the filter housing are available for the 2011 to current. There's two different models, so make sure when you're ordering it for your truck that you're getting the proper year so that you get the correct housing. The filter, one filter is included. You can pick between either or, and the gasket and the hardware is also included. So if you have any questions on this, you can hit us up on Facebook, email us, you can give us a call. We'd be more than happy to help you, and we'll catch you on the next one.